A lot of you have asked me about how to get the King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard effect. If you don't know what I'm talking about, this is it. This is a sound that we find throughout the King Gizzard discography from their older albums to their latest work. It has kind of served as the King Gizzard signature, if you will. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can get that sound by using an analog delay pedal like me or Stu McKenzie from King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard or using a digital delay from a DAW. This won't be the exact sound that they have because there's not just a delay pedal on it. There's also overdrive and reverb and waz and all of this stuff. This video is just looking at the delay part. This is our best attempt to recreate that with the gear that we have. If you are trying to recreate that, I would highly recommend going to Equiboard and checking out Stu McKenzie's pedal board. I happen to be on there as well if you want to give me a follow, that's cool and all. My pedal is the Aquapus way huge. I feel it's better for short delays than long delays. I do think I'll eventually change to something like the Carbon Copy, which is used by artists like Tame Impala and has more versatility, or the Boss Digital Delay DD7, DD8. These are the models that King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard use, and I would recommend them. I've tried them myself, they're very good. So first off, I'm gonna start by showing you guys my amp settings. This is clean i have no effects on except my overdrive these are my amp settings as you can see i have put everything at 12 o'clock this is my delay pedal in case you didn't know a delay pedal is a stomp box effects that records and plays back any music fed into it in other words, it's an echo. It's different than reverb because it's actually repeating the whole sound, not just a blurry version of it. Think of it as delay is shouting into cave, echo, 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 echo. reverb is shouting into a church. My delay pedal has three knobs and a button. The delay is how long the note's going to repeat. For example, here you're gonna hear. I am putting the length of the delay something around 30%. Assuming that this is 100, in this zone is usually where you need to be. It's fast, it's very fast. Then we're going to take the feedback and push it about halfway. We want it to repeat itself many times, but we don't want it to be too long because if you put it for too long, it will start to create feedback and it will explode. It will create a feedback loop. Way because you just want enough that it's not going to create that loop. You can try do it, and as long as it doesn't do any feedback, see that could work. And finally, the blend I'm going to put it around 50 60 percent because I do want it to mix a lot with the sound, but not enough that it completely overpowers the guitars. That's about right. You can use it in any scenario, really. The important part is kicking it on at the right time. You wanna kick it on right before you do your transition. So here I'm recreating this effect with a DAW software. I'm using Logic Pro X, and this is how I'm recreating that sound with the default delay effect on Logic. I'm going to play back my audio here that I want to add that effect to. It has no effects on it except this Cream Default Guitar Amp preamp. And I'm going to go to delay, echo, here. It appears like this. 
I'm going to shorten this a tiny bit. Let's try 16 dotted. That sounds about right. I would go... Yeah. I like 1 8 triplet, but that's just for this case. Maybe if it was a faster BPM, you'd do something faster or slower. And then I'm going to make the feedback a little more just so it doesn't loop, like it doesn't make that feedback loop, but it's longer. Okay, I, that sounds pretty good to me. I could make it more wet. And then what you wanna do is you wanna put the automation, so like this, insert two. So it's gonna be like this. And that's about it. So let me know if you managed to do it. If you have questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below and I'll answer them as fast as I can. And otherwise, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys have an awesome weekend.